Hello and happy Valentine's Day. I'm here with my special Valentine's, Hunter, and uh, we're gonna do a good old battle of the palettes. And this time, it's Valentine's Day edition. I'm super excited. Uh, when I thought of doing this, I was like, yes, I cannot wait because these are two great palettes that are gonna go head to head and we're gonna see who comes out on top. I don't know, it could be either of them because they're both pretty good palettes. They both have some highs and some lows. So we're gonna explore those and see which palette comes out on top. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is Hunter. It's really his channel. I'm just here applying the makeup and giving him pets. But if you're curious about me, I'm Lauren and I love makeup and we're gonna play with some today. Now, don't be distracted by my purple highlighter. It's from the newest ColourPop launch and uh, I'm obsessed. It is quite blinding on the nose. <laughs> I've tried to diffuse it a little bit, but uh, you may, be, you may be picking that up on camera. Now, let's get into the palette. Who are we gonna be comparing today? Well, on the left side, which might be your right side, we have the Natasha Denona Love Palette. Now, I am a huge Natasha Denona fan. She comes out with some great eyeshadow. I do not ever reach for this palette. This is what it looks like in all its Valentine's Day glory. Uh, yeah, I don't reach for it. <laughs> I just, I, I don't reach for it. And I should because I, I paid for it, I bought it, and I love her formula. But this color story in particular never really calls out to me. So I'm going to be interested to see how this fares against its competitor. Speaking of the competitor, we have the Beauty Bay Love Notes palette. Now, this is a little bit more my style because it has quite quite a few more purples and I love purples. Purple is definitely a Valentine's Day color and uh, people need to respect that, okay? Because it's great. I talk a lot about how much I love the Beauty Bay formula. So these are both palettes where I enjoy them quite a bit. I enjoy the formula, I enjoy the brand. So I don't know who's gonna win. I don't know what look I'm going to like better. So let's get into it. So I've gone ahead and primed my eye with the Give Me Glow Primer in the color Parchment. This is one of my favorites. And we are going to, we're going to get into this. I, uh, I'm excited. I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. This palette, I have feelings about it, but they're not great feelings. Uh, it's just, I know the shimmers are beautiful, but I also know I just, I just don't reach for it. But we need to make this as a Valentine's day -y. Valentine's Day as possible. So first we have to go into the color Valentine. I'm gonna start by putting this just up here a little bit. And uh, what I'd like to do with this palette is I'd like to use some colors in it that I haven't because I have my Natasha Denona palette ranking coming up. And I don't know where this one's gonna go. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Okay, that actually looked like a really, really light baby pink in the pan, but it is showing up a little bit darker than I expected, which I like, I appreciate. Next, I'm gonna go into Intense, and I'm going to kind of continue where I left off with the color Valentine, and put that darker pink all over my lid. Sorry, all over my upper lid. So kind of like a pink rainbow. And that's actually going on quite nice as well. We're doing kind of like a little bit of an ombre look, which I I really like. And okay, why don't I like this palette? I, I cannot tell you why I don't like this palette. I like it. I do. I just, I just, the color story. It just, I, I don't know. I see it and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Because it performs well. The handful of times that I've used it before, I know it performs well. It's not me, it's you. No, it's not you, it's me. Come on, let's be honest. Maybe we'll continue with kind of a more ombre look. Ooh. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go into Soul right here. And I'm going to put that in my inner eyelid. And continue with kind of a more ombre look. Because that's not something I've done before. And uh, when you're doing Battle of the Palettes, you need to try new techniques. I firmly believe that. Okay. I 
think overall I'm just not a pink fan. I think that's my problem. I've just, pink has never really called to me in any way. I just, I, as I'm wearing the brightest pink sweater ever, I love this sweater. I actually got this sweater from Target a few years ago. It's a great sweater. Okay, I'm next gonna go into heart. And again, we've apparently decided we're doing ombre with this eye. So I'm gonna put heart in the middle of my lid. And it's more of a red than a pink. It's, well, it's definitely a red, not a pink. That's okay. All these colors are applying really nicely, but am I gonna like the look? The real question. Okay, let's go into Heartbeat right here. This darker, darker purpley ready color and put that in the outer corner. Hunter is enjoying snacking on the fake plant, knocking things over. If you have a cat, you know this is just cat life. Also, if you were wondering why I had fake plants, this is why. Okay. So, I actually really like that color. That purpley, is it, it's not even a mauve. I don't even know how to describe that color, but that's actually a really pretty, ready, little bit purpley. There's a little bit of purple in it. Are we looking ombre-ish? Kind of, I think so. I think we achieved that look. I like it. It's a little bit of like a deeper, deeper red. I probably for Valentine's Day would not do something this dark and moody. Actually, yes I would. What am I talking about? This is actually a great Valentine's Day look. I love it. Okay, let's do something in our, underneath our waterline. Now we aren't using purple for this look which is okay. I'm gonna go into intense and put that underneath my waterline. I thought about, I thought about doing a purple look, but there's only like three true purples. And I uh, wanted it to be more pinky. I never do pink. So I wanted to do more pinky. Okay. Now we need to add some shimmer. And since we're sticking with a more pinky theme, let's go into giving right here. I'm going to put that on my finger. Hmm. I'm gonna put it, smack it down in the middle of my eye. Oh, that's weird. It's a weird color. What is it? Uh, it's, it's got like hot pink shimmer in it which is really kind of cool, but it doesn't look like that in a pan at all. It surprised me. It's definitely not a very intense shimmer, but it's pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. I, I, don't, I don't hate it. I just, I don't know how I feel about pink. <laughs> That's enough about me complaining about the color pink. And again, I do like it. This sweater is my jam. Uh, I just, I very rarely put it on my eyes. So I think that's good for that look. I think I like that. We are gonna wait and we're gonna put on mascara and eyeliner at the end after we do both eyes so that we finish up the look. So this is how we're gonna leave it for now. Let's go into Beauty Bay's Love Note. I am excited for this one. And this one, Should we stick with pink? Maybe we'll go a little purpley with this one because the purples are really pretty. Uh, first, I have to prime my eye though, so be right back. Okay, eyes primed. I think what I wanna do to do a fair comparison between the two palettes is stick to as pink a look as possible to match this one. Now, this palette doesn't have any red. It's got this darker kind of, kind of red, like a reddy brown kind of a little bit. Uh, so we may have to use that one, but this one is definitely more lighter pinks, I would say. I say that now, let's put it on our eye and see what happens. Let's start by going into cheeks up here. We're gonna go ahead and put that on the upper lid. That's definitely more of a mauve pink.
And what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day this year? I never do anything for Valentine's Day. It's one of those, it's one of those things, it's one of those holidays. There's a handful of holidays that I always hype up and I always end up getting really disappointed in. So, you know, whenever my husband and I used to go out on Valentine's Day, because I was like, we have to go out, it's Valentine's Day. It would just be it, it kind of disappointing because it would be overcrowded at the restaurant we were eating at. And it would just, I don't know, I like to like relax and have a good time and, you know, talk and, and it just would be loud and noisy. And so we normally celebrate on a different day, you know, and it's just us going on a date. We're not really celebrating Valentine's Day. I did get him a present this year though. Uh, but yeah, Valentine's Day and New Year's Eve, two holidays that I always hype up, always am a little bit disappointed by. So I've just kind of not given up but changed my plans to maybe not celebrate on that specific day. It works best for me. Okay, so next what I want to do is I want to go into mm, handkerchief right here, and I'm going to put this all over my eye. I know a lot of people are very against celebrating Valentine's Day. And I don't, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Oh, it was a much lighter pink than I thought it would be. Oh, it's like a baby pink. That's not what it looks like. Hmm. Okay. It's uh, it's more of a, a baby pink. So I'm just going to do that in the inner corner of my eyelid versus the whole thing. What I want to do, I think is I'm going to go into confetti, which is this gorgeous shimmer here. And I'm going to put that at on the rest of my eye, pretty much. So I think this year we will be having a date night on Thursday versus on Tuesday for Valentine's Day. Um, but yeah, I do not blame you if you do not celebrate Valentine's Day because, you know, a lot of people call it a Hallmark holiday and 100%, 100% it is. You don't need a holiday to show the person that you care about you love them, right? It could be any day. Though it is nice to have a reason to celebrate and go out to eat. That's what, that's what I think. Okay, it's a pretty shimmer. I'm definitely digging my brush in to try to get as much color as possible. There we go. Okay, hmm. How do I feel about this so far? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's actually, let's go into Ruby, which is the red-brown color we were talking about earlier. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the outer ends of my eyes to deepen up the look. Create a little bit of dimension because right now it's a little flat. When I was in high school and very single, I was very anti-Valentine's Day. But the history behind Valentine's Day is actually pretty interesting. And I'm not going to tell you that at all because I am not prepared to talk about that. But I feel like a lot of these holidays, the way that they started is pretty interesting. And it isn't like part of St. Valentine in a church in Ireland somewhere? Maybe. Maybe. I feel like a body part is, is still very much alive somewhere. Okay, I'm kind of going into the middle of my eye with this color. I just felt like it needed something more. Hmm, okay. Do you want to put something underneath the waterline? So I'm going to go into, let's go into a shimmer. I normally don't like doing shimmer. Let's go. Let's try going with the shimmer. I'm going to go in with Cupid and I'm going to put that underneath my waterline. Ooh, it's a pretty shimmer. B2B is great. Another thing to mention about these two palettes is the price difference. 
because the Natasha Denona one, I think that one was 69. And then the Beauty Bay one, I want to say is like 24. So quite the difference in prices. Okay, I look a little bit like I have pink eye in both eyes. <laughs> I think this is why I don't like pink. I always feel like I look a little ill. Um, but, you know, I, I hope I don't. Let me go ahead and put on some eyeliner and mascara, and then we can finalize our opinions on the two different eye looks we did and which palette came out the winner. And, um... I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided yet. So let me know down below while we're on break which you liked better before I announce which one I like better. Be right back. And we are back with the final looks. I've added mascara, eyeliner. I also put on a little bit of a limp, lip tint, lip tint, baby pink in honor of Valentine's Day. This, uh, but the highlighter and the lip color came from ColourPop's newest Valentine's Day collection, which if you haven't seen my review on that, I definitely suggest you check it out. I'll link it up above. But let's let's talk about my feelings about these looks. My first thought, they're very similar. I guess there's only so much I can do with pink before I'm like, meh, it's all the same, <laughs> right? They are very, very similar. I tried to keep the looks in the pink family to get a fair comparison to figure out who did better. And uh, yeah, I didn't expect it to turn out so, so similar, but here we are. It's very similar. And uh, I'm a little bit surprised on my thoughts on this. My first thought, let's talk about the Natasha Denona Love Palette side. My first thought is that this actually has a pretty unique glitter in that shimmer, in that color giving. It's uh, it's unique. It's got some very like magenta colored shimmer in it that I was not expecting at all that you can't see in the pan, but I can see on my eye. So I, I'm kind of shocked at that. I'm pleasantly surprised. I also, I also really enjoyed the darker red up here, Heartbeat. I thought that did a really good job of deepening up the look and making it a little bit different than the Beauty Bay side. Now I will say, I love Natasha Denona's formula. I feel like the fallout was pretty minimal, which is nice because I already did my base. And overall, I actually like it a lot more than I thought I would. I like that it's not like a pinky pink look. It's uh, a little bit darker, a little more red, uh, but I also am disappointed that it doesn't look ombre at all. You know, we used quite, quite the array of pinks and uh, some of them are very hard to differentiate. Like you cannot, you cannot tell that I use that many colors on my eyes. You only know because you saw me apply them. But if you hadn't watched me, you might not know. So all in all, they all kind of blended in together. So is the life of a pink eyeshadow color, I suppose. But I actually liked this more than I remember liking it the first few times I used it. So that is great. That's a plus. Now let's talk about Beauty Bay Love Notes. Now Beauty Bay, I also love their formula. So I felt like comparing these two eyeshadow palettes was going to put them on pretty even footing because they're both great formulas. Now, Love Knows, I will tell you, if I used the purple, I would have just been obsessed with this look. But to be fair, I stayed with pinks and uh, I didn't love them. <laughs> I didn't. I felt like they're all very monotonous in color. They're very light. Even when I was using a handkerchief, it came out way lighter than it looked in the pan. And um, yeah, that was a little disappointing. The shimmers are gorgeous. Beauty Bay comes out with some amazing shimmers. So the shimmers didn't let me down. I did like those quite a bit. But uh, the matte pinks, uh, I was not super impressed. I will say I did like the color Ruby. And I also will say all the colors applied beautifully. So I didn't have any issues with patchiness. There was a little bit of fallout, I think because I used more shimmer with this eye than I did on that eye. So there was a little more shimmer with these colors, but not a lot of fallout. It's pretty minimal still. And um, yeah, again, I know if I had used the purples in this palette, it would have won hands down. I'm a purple girl. I love how these purples apply and look, they're just so gorgeous. But um, I didn't, I didn't. 
So that brings me to the real question. Which palette did I like better? I think in Battle of the Palettes, this round is gonna go to the Natasha Denona Love Palette. And trust me, when I started filming this, I did not think this is how it would end. I would have put my bet on the Beauty Bay palette and I would have lost. But this palette, it just, I like the look better overall. I think even though, again, we're dealing with mm, colors looking very, very similar on the eye, there was enough of a difference so that this came out on top. I will also say there was just a couple more unique colors in this palette that we used today. It really was that shimmer, that shimmer giving. I think that's probably what put it over the edge. And again, heartbeat. I just, I liked those colors. They really, really applied. They applied beautifully. I just think they made the look different and stand out and uh, become the winner. So that ends another Battle of the Palettes Valentine's Day edition. The winner this round, Natasha Denona Love Palette. I would love to hear your thoughts on who you thought was the winner between these two palettes. And uh, yeah, I hope you're having an amazing Valentine's Day if you're celebrating. If not, I hope you're just having an amazing day because you deserve it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.